Daddy gone. Ruby. So we've just been walking little Ruby Rose and I found a nice piece and Kenny's gonna kindly dig it out for me. Aren't you babe? Yeah. But it's probably not a piece. It's probably more like a block. Come on, Ruby. Come on, show Daddy. Because that's a big green block. Probably sharp. Don't break it, though. That's beautiful. Oh, that was easy. And I was looking at this piece here too with what's the pink one called? They both fit. Show the lines. Pretty, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe that last a little bit there. Hmm, what's that? Oh, that it's got little thunder eggs in it. So this looks like it's the old dumping ground for... Well, can you step back so you don't? This looks like the dumping ground for where they dump all the old... What would you call it? Waste from the... Because there's little thunder eggs in that in here. I really like that green stone. See, this is this this is coming out of the casting. Yeah. See? It's all rough and baggy. Yeah. All that sharp. Yeah. And then so I go around with the drill, the little oh, yeah. high speed tool there. Yeah. And that takes all that stuff off. Well then I've got to sand it then. Yep. And smooth it off. And then, then I'll, then I'll buff it on the felt wheel here. And once I've buffed it, then I paint it with an acid solution to put, make black on, black on it. Yeah. And then when they're it's a finished, lot of work involved, isn't it? Yeah. And then when they're finished, oh, they look, yeah. Huh? So the black highlights all the shadows. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're oh, for wow. the beef first, eh? Yeah, these are drought masters, these ones. And then these ones here, there's... Uh, Brahmin. These ones I do. I'm doing, doing these for the council. There's, for there's, awards? Uh, the council just gives them to dignitaries. Oh, they yeah. just get them and have them on hand when they get a special guests come through the council sometimes I'll give it to them. Yeah. Yeah and being beef week in a, another month um, they uh, they want some for that. You know? Oh, cool. But they have them on hand but yeah then we mount them on these timber base. Go through the process. Yeah. Yeah but you're doing more than one yeah. at a time. Yeah. So they're definitely worth the money hey? Oh well yeah. Just, yeah. That one's a Hereford, that one there. Yeah. And then these are Brahmins, and then they're drought masters. Yeah. So did you have cattle on there's your a, property? No, no, there's a little bra Brahmin there. That might be a better one for you. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. I'll show you. Uh, yeah, when you, when you do the, that, these are cast, right? So to make a mould, we have the original. Yes. The original model is created, and it has whatever you want the thing to oh, be on it. Oh, okay, right printed on. in there, yeah. So, yeah, so the artist made that up. He would have carved that out of a block of wax. Okay. And and all that yeah. put on, you know, wow. he did all that. How much that one? And, uh, yeah, they're 75. Yeah. With yeah. all that hard work and you're an artist, we should get it, hey? <laughs> our, our artist is, um, he's gone now, he passed away. Oh. He, he, he was doing them, he was doing models for us right up until he's, oh, he's late 80s, 
nearly 90 years of age. Did know. he live here too? In Rockhampton and, yeah. and that he did, yeah. Oh, he was great, oh. eh? Like, like, he had the artistic flair. Like, he created that. He carved that out of a block of wax. A little digger. Yeah, the miner. Wow. Oh, such tiny That's, little work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he even at, in his 80s, used to take the centres out of golf balls that have got a high density type foam in them yeah, nowadays. Yeah. He, got, he got that little ball and he'd carve them with a scalpel. Yeah. Incredible stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. And such fine work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, you know, he was bloody amazing. Eh? Awesome. He just had a flair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and oh, that's God the thing. Bless him. Like, I mean, I couldn't create that. The, 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 the life of me, I couldn't carve that out of a block of wax yeah. to get that, yeah. I don't reckon. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, he oh. just, yeah. What was his name? Uh, Bill Mannion. It's usually. Bill Mannion. Yeah, it's on there. Bill Mannion, Aww. 1999. Good on, Bill. Aradon is our company. Aradon. And, uh, and Bill Mannion, he, if we get his name on him, yeah. Thank you. The, What's uh, Aradon? What? Oh, it's just a company name. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So Ooh. the pewter, it's not carcinogenic or anything for you? No, no. No, um, this is how we buy it. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, so that's, yeah, that's got some numbers stamped in it, and that's the mixture. Because pewter is, is an alloy, you don't find pewter in the ground. It, it's made up, right? so it's 93% of it is tin, 6% is antimony, and 1% is copper. Right. Oh, there you go. And they alloy that together yep. to make, this is what you call lead-free pewter. Yep. Yeah, so that's a modern day version of pewter, because yep. in the olden days, then it was a bit more of an issue. Back way back in the yeah. early days, it was tin and lead and whatever else they threw in, but mostly tin yeah. and lead, you know. Yeah. Well, they used to drink out of the wine goblets they <laughs> made and all that, but they'd have their wine sitting in it. Well, with the lead in there, that yeah. became toxic. Yeah. So they were poisoning themselves. Yeah. 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 Next model, that's the first thing. Well, then, there's that miner you were looking at there. Eh? That's actually bronze, that one. Yeah. So that wax model was carved in in this special wax they use. They use it to, to make jewellery in, in the technique of called lost wax casting. Because that wax model, they make a mould that fit around it and then they melt the wax model out. So you've got the cast of where the wax was. Yep. And that's what's called lost wax. Right. Okay, so that's how this is done. And uh, that's some of the stuff they use there, that plastery looking stuff there. So that would have been encased. Yep. And then, uh, and then what they do, they melt the wax, wax out and vacuum it out, suck it out. And then they pour metal in. Yep. Well, we, got, we get bronze. Yep. Because we use the bronze as our master model to make a mould. Yep. And we make the moulds ourselves here. This is me. And that's done there. And that's a hydraulic press. Yep because mold, the mould is actually um, rubber and we buy that rubber uncured meaning raw in a sense and it has to be cured well you do that with heat yep. so to make a mould and keep it all neat, tidy and contained because your model goes in between there, see? oh yeah, mm, yeah. that's a buckle one Um, wow, look at all of them. You got lots of moulds. Yeah, yeah two of them, see? Oh, so it's yeah. two halves. Yeah. Okay, so to make that, the, that, that model is put in the bronze. Into, yeah. is you put it on the rubber, and this rubber is, see that steel ring there? Yeah. yeah. That's a mould frame. These yeah. fit in there. Yeah. And the, the plates that are in it come out, you take them out. You preheat it, you drop the bottom layer in, you push this into how you want it, sitting in the mould, then you put the top on, and then you stack it with plates, and they actually come up higher than that frame. Yep. So then you put it in the press, and this is all heating, heated, and you put it in here, then you compress it, and squash that down and hold it. Yep. And that's cooking then. So that'll cook for a couple of hours then to, to cure the rubber. And it doesn't melt it? No, no, it's silicon. And um, 
and so that sets it then. So then when you pull it apart, you take your models out and that's what you've got. There so you then go. we cut these, what we call the sprue. Yeah. We cut them in yeah. so that when we pour the metal, this you goes into take the, it out and work with this it. This goes into that machine there then. Yep. Yeah. Just the casting machine. So that's careful, that's hot. Yep. So this is the casting machine. The mold goes in here and gets locked into place under that. Wow. So that lines up with the hole in the centre of the mould, see? Yep. And the metal drops in when you pour it. So you take that ladle there. There's a lot of steps to it, eh? Just, I'll just block you for a sec because that's hot. And putting that in there, if there's any moisture on it, Taking up heat now. Wow. I'll get a mould out. We worked out at the 270. Wow. So then, and how long does it take to melt? A, a good hour to get it melted. Like percolating coffee. Yeah. <laughs> so that 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 was the clamp closing the mould now. Uh, give it a good squeeze because it's cold. Got our speed set. So now I'll get a thing of metal. This will start spinning. It looks a bit like mercury, doesn't it? And so, is that all your old? Oh, uh, that's skimming off the top. Can Look you reuse that? Yeah, we can that. Even that, even that down there. I mean, I could say, well, I can send that back, and they'd they get, they'd get metal out of that. True. We retrieve the metal out of that. Oh. But that's because when, because see here, we're using talc. That's to dust the rubber on the mould, so, so it stops the, the metal burning and. Oh, and, yep, and yep. That. So now, do that. Has anyone ever ordered a gold bullion one? Uh, gold, well we used to do gold but we've stopped. Yeah. No. Computer is more popular than the gold. True. So then, you got your mould, well then you just pull it apart. Oh there, wow. There you go. go. Yeah, because that's hot, I don't pick it up. I use them to grab that yep. and just flex that out. Yep. So there's, you can see the buckles there. Now, if we look closely, it's probably a bit grainy because that mould was cold. Yep. And sometimes there's little cold spots in there. So, you know, I wouldn't use that that one. I'd put them back through and, yeah. Yep. Just yeah. For quality oh. control? There you go. Start, start again. That's excellent, thank you. Yeah.